Hi everyone, this is Selena. I hope you're well. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this beautiful um, traditional French beret. It's absolutely perfect for spring. It's a very easy to crochet. I will be going through this step by step and this is a very beginner friendly tutorial. As always, the free pattern can be um, seen at my blog selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. And along with the free pattern, there will be um, details on why this is a um, traditional French beret. So if you're interested, head over there. Obviously, I am French, so I was really excited about this project. So to create this project, you will be needing two skeins of Drops Muscat. And this is a beautiful yarn. It's 100% moisturized cotton yarn. And I have it in shade 06. Obviously, you can use whichever shade you prefer. Everything will be linked in the down bar concerning the materials that you need. I used two skeins of this and this is considered a light three yarn in American terms and a DK weight yarn in British terms. And so also you will need a four millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors, oh sorry, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. Everything will be linked in the down bar and um, I will be using US terms. So before we jump into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a crochet tutorial every week and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And before we jump into the tutorial, I also wanted to let you know that my Patreon is going to be coming very soon in April. I will be posting in the community tab more details, so watch this space. And I'm very excited to be able to um, offer really affordable, exclusive crochet um, material and uh, yeah, exciting things on my Patreon. The exact date will be released very soon, but it will be very affordable starting from one pound a month. And that will enable me to continue my crochet um, journey. So more details to come soon, but just so you know, there will be um, exclusive videos, behind the scenes, um, like a podcast about more personal things about myself. There will be seasonal um pattern um printables and so on access to my pdf patterns so anyway i'm just going to jump into the tutorial right now but just so you know this will be coming very soon so to begin this tutorial you will be making a slip knot so just go ahead and create a slip knot pop your hook through and tighten and i'm just going to zoom in and so now we are going to be chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. And once you've chained four, you are going to be slip stitching through that first chain that we did. So take your yarn and pull through that chain. And then pull through that chain on the hook to create a circle. And we will be working inside that center. So now that you've done that, you are going to be um, chaining two, one and two, and this counts as a half double crochet. So now you are going to be creating nine more half double crochets within that center. So wrap your yarn around your hook, go inside the center, pull up a loop, You've got three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through three loops. And that creates a half double crochet. And obviously as this um, chain two counts as a half double crochet, that's two half double crochets and we need 10 in total. So you will be needing 10 half double crochets within that circle. Now wrap your yarn around your hook and go back in. 
and create a half double crochet and as you can see we are weaving in our loose end as we go along so just go ahead and um, finish placing um, your 10 half double crochets within that center and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you've um, created your 10 half double crochets, you are going to be slip stitching at the top of that chain two at the beginning. So slip stitch to close off this round. And what you can do is pull on um, the center here gently, so and close this um, up. And so now for round two, we are going to be chaining two, so one and two, and this counts as a half double crochet. We are going to be placing a second half double crochet inside that first stitch, so go into that first stitch and place another half double crochet into that and that creates two half double crochets inside one stitch. Go into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that and another and you are going to be placing two half double crochets together inside each stitch and just go ahead and place two half double crochets inside each and every stitch around until you reach the beginning of um, this round and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have 20 half double crochets in total and I've placed my last half double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch through that chain two from the beginning of this round like so and this is what I have. So now for round three, chain two, one and two and we are once again going to be placing another half double crochet inside that first um, stitch. So just go ahead and place another half double crochet into that. Into the next stitch you will be placing one half double crochet and that's it. And then in the next stitch you will be placing two half double crochets inside one stitch and then in the next stitch one half double crochet and then in the next stitch two half double crochets one and two and inside the next stitch one half double crochet and so on so alternate two half double crochets one half double crochet in each stitch across and you should finish on one half double crochet on its own and then I'll meet you back to show you what to do next. Okay so I finished um, this round and I am going to slip stitch through that chain two here and this is row one, two and three. So we've completed row three. Sorry I'm just going to de-zoom. Okay, so now we are going to be doing row round four. So one and two, and this counts as our first half double crochet. We are going to place another half double crochet inside that same first stitch here. And then in the next stitch we are going to be placing a half double crochet on its own inside that. And then in the next stitch one half double crochet on its own and then in the next stitch two double crochets together. So that means that we are going to be placing two half double crochets together then in the next one half double crochet and then again in the next one half double crochet and then in the next two half double crochets. So I've completed my two double crochets I'm going to place one half double crochet, another half double crochet and then two half double crochets in the next stitch 
and then another half double crochet on its own a half double crochet on its own and then in the next stitch two half double crochets and then a half double crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch and then two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet one half double crochet so just carry this pattern on until we reach the beginning of this round and then I'll show you what to do then okay so I'm back and to finish off this row as always we are going to slip stitch through the first two chains that we did and pull through and this is what we have for one two three four row four okay now for row five you are going round five sorry you are going to chain two one and two and this counts as your first half double crochet now you are going to be going into that same stitch with another half double crochet like so so you have two half double crochets in that first stitch now you are going to be going into the next stitch with a half double crochet on its own go into the next stitch with a half double crochet on its own and go into the next stitch with a half double crochet on its own once again so now we have three consecutive half double crochets on their own now that we've done those three we are going to be placing two half double crochets together in one stitch and in the next stitch one half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochets together and then in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet and then two half double crochets together and just carry this pattern on until you reach the beginning of this round and then I'll show you what to do then so I've reached the end of this round and I'm going to slip stitch to finish off this round like so and this is what we have for round five okay now I am going to be explaining round six but I am also going to be <clears throat> explaining the next rounds also so for this round you are going to be chaining two one and two and this counts as your first half double crochet and as always when we begin a round we are going to be placing a half double crochet in this first stitch to have two double crochets together now we are going to be going into the next stitch with one half double crochet go into the next stitch with another half double crochet go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and so we have four um, stitches that have half double crochets on their own in each stitch if that makes sense so now we are going to be placing two half double crochets inside one stitch so inside the next stitch just place two half double crochets together and now place a half double crochet on its own in the next stitch a half double crochet on its own in the next stitch and a half double crochet on its own and again so four half double crochets on their own and now two half double crochets together 
And so you are going to be carrying on this, um, this pattern until you reach the beginning of this round. And then for each round after that one, it is going to be the exact same principle that I've just showed you. And for each row that you add, you will be adding one half double crochet on its own in a stitch, if that makes sense. So just finish off this round like I just showed you. And for the next row, you will be chaining two, adding another half double crochet inside that same stitch. And then five times, you will be placing a half double crochet on their own, then two half double crochets, then five half double crochets on their own, then two half double crochets, and so on. And for the row after that, it will be chain two, another half double crochet in that stitch, and then six half double crochets. So what you are basically doing is adding a half double crochet on its own per row. So you are enlarging the circle. However, to keep it flat and even, you need to space them out more and more. And that's the technique for doing that. So I hope this is clear. Again, if you need more help, just rewind this video or check out my blog saninaveronique.com the link is in the description box for the written pattern but it's very very simple this principle is really really simple so I'm just going to let you carry this on until you reach so I'm just checking so until you reach 18 rows in total and that should measure um, that should create a 13 inch circle and that's 34 centimeters. Once again, you can check out my blog for all the written details. So I'm just gonna let you carry this on until you have an 18 row circle, and then I'll let you I'll get back to you to show you the rest of this project. Okay, so this is what we have, and this is the size of um 18 rows I think so let me check 18 rows and so this measures 13 inches and now I'm going to show you what to do to finish off this beret so it's it's very easy I'm going to try and show you like this obviously the whole beret can't fit into the um the camera but um, you will know what I mean as I film it. So this is the edge, obviously we're going to go all the way around, we are going to still be working in rounds and now this is um, the part that will be giving this beret its shape. So chain one and go back into that stitch with a single crochet and now you are going to be skipping two stitches I am going to try maybe and zoom in a teeny bit and now that you've chained one and created a single crochet skip one and two and go into the next stitch with a single crochet skip one and two and go into the next with a single crochet and once again skip one and two and go into the next with a single crochet skip one and two and go into the next with a single crochet and you can tighten this stitch as you go along so just carry this on all the way around one single crochet skip two one single crochet until you reach the beginning and then I'll show you what to do then so here we go, I've gone all the way around, I've almost finished, so I am going to um, skip the last stitches here and go directly into that first chain one, take my yarn and pull through that loop and this loop to close off this round and as you can see our beret now has that shape so it will obviously have a better shape once we've finished but as you can see it's taking its shape okay so what we are going to be doing now is chaining two one and two and I am going to switch this like that just to show you we are working in the rounds once again and this counts as our first half double crochet 
Go into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that. And go into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that. And into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that. And into the next stitch and just go ahead and place a half double crochet into each and every stitch along until you reach the beginning of um, this round and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I'm back and to finish off this row you are going to be slip stitching through that first chain two at the beginning. So now that we've um, finished this row of half double crochets, we are going to be creating a second row of half double crochets. So chain two, go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch and just um, create this second round of half double crochets and then once you get to the beginning slip stitch and then I'll show you how to finish off this pattern. Okay so I'm back and once you've finished um, your f one row of half double crochets you are going to fasten off and um, pull through this loop to finish off your project. And that's it, you are done. You are going to be um, fastening in all your loose end, but ends, but I'll let you do that off camera because it's really easy. So we finished this project. I hope you enjoyed making this beret with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next week, bye-bye.